Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I'll share some of the things I learned while modeling this asset in Odini. So the first tip is on how to use smart direct selections. Having this tube I can select a pattern and expand the selection accordingly by using shift up arrow to expand forward. Now I can continue modeling by extruding the prims and then select again a new pattern if I want to manipulate the inner faces. And you can also select by normal interactively in the viewport, which can be really handy for quick selections. Now there was a pattern I needed to recreate on this bottle and the easiest way I found was to draw the pattern directly by using the draw curve. But as you can see it's all over the place, it's hard to get a clean result from the draw curve. So to clean it up I start by clipping them to have the same end points. Then I do a big resample to just get the overall curvature. And finally I can resample with a smaller length and subdivide the curves. We end up with a clean result. As you can see I have these extra points from a boolean operation and to clean them I tried using a facet node and play with the tolerance to remove the inline points but unfortunately could not get it to work as it ended up deleting parts of the geo and that's when vex comes in handy. So I am just using the neighbors count function to group any points that have two or less neighbors and then blasting the grouped points. So on the same subject, after the boolean I ended up with some bad topology and another technique I used to clean it was to fuse the border points. So I am extracting the curve from the AB sims group to use later and expanding the border points group so I can collapse that area. And finally in the fuse I'm using the second input as target GU so the overall shape doesn't change. Now I wanted to offset this floating geometry from the bottle body so it doesn't z, z fight. And in this case a really small peak does the trick but as you can see in this in the case I wanted to do a bigger peak I get a distorted shape. So I wanted to find a way to avoid the distortion. And that's easy enough, just assemble the geo and pick it since it, we will just have a single point per piece. That works but I decided to get a vex alternative. So one of the ways was to calculate the connectivity, extract the centroid while transferring the normals. And in this VEX snippet running over numbers, I am getting the normals from the centroids, getting the point numbers corresponding to each piece, and iterating over the array of points to pick the geo along the normal of the centroids. But too much code, right? So I found a simpler solution by running over points, reading the normals from the second input. We can use the class as point number since the extract centroid orders the class and then just picking the position with the normal and the multiplier. There is also a way to do it without the centroids but it's just too much code and it's not as performant. So yeah, these were the tips I had for you today, let me know if you found them interesting. And don't forget you can grab all the files from my videos on Patreon along with exclusive tutorials and courses. Take care and see you next time.